Do you want to bring the delights of a French bakery into your own kitchen without having to leave the house? Well, you can. And all you need is flour, yeast, salt, and water. That probably would have sounded more achievable about a month ago. For our baguettes, we're using a pre-ferment that we call a Polish starter, which is basically just a simple mixture of flour, water, and yeast that's allowed to ferment for a few hours and then added to the bread dough. You can make the bread without it, but the flavor and the texture of the bread is almost impossible to achieve with any other method. So for the Polish starter, place 60 grams of strong white flour, 10 grams of dark rye flour, and one gram of dry yeast into a bowl. Add 70 grams of warm water and then mix everything together to a very sticky dough. Then leave the Polish to ferment for about four or five hours or overnight in the fridge. And then once you see the yeast working its magic, producing all these little bubbles, it's ready to go. In a separate bowl, add 260 grams of strong white bread flour, three grams of dried yeast, the Polish ferment, and 140 grams of lukewarm water. Using a dough scraper, mix all the ingredients until they just come together. The dough doesn't need to be super smooth at this stage. Then cover the bowl and leave the dough to rest or autolyse. This has a whole host of benefits like allowing the flour to hydrate fully, the gluten begins to develop which reduces the kneading time, you get a better colour, flavour, aroma. Basically don't skip this step as there's so many benefits and you literally have to do nothing. Once the dough is rested add a teaspoon of sea salt and work that in. Then turn the dough out onto your work surface and knead that dough for about 10 minutes. I started my dough on a wooden board but it kept slipping and moving about, it was a real pain in the ass so I moved it to the table to finish the kneading. When kneading the dough, try and avoid adding extra flour unless absolutely necessary. Don't be afraid if it starts off a little bit sticky. The more you start to work it, the firmer it will become. When it comes to kneading, you can use any technique you like. I like to push the dough away with the palm of my hand, fold it back on itself, then rotate the dough and repeat this process over and over again. You'll no doubt find a technique that works for you, but as long as you're working the dough and developing that gluten, that's all that really matters. Once the dough is smooth and springy, place it into a bowl, cover and leave to prove at room temperature for about an hour or until doubled in size. Once proved, turn the dough out onto your work surface and divide it into two pieces. Shape each piece into a ball and cover with a tea towel and leave to rest again for another five to 10 minutes. While you're waiting, lightly flour a tea towel with a little bit of rye flour, put it onto a baking sheet and we'll use this in a bit. To shape the baguettes, take one of your rested dough balls and gently press it down and stretch it out into a sort of oval shape. If it feels tough or springs back when you try to do this, it may just need a little longer to rest. Once you've got your dough into an oval-like shape, then starting at the top of the dough, fold the long edge into the center and then press down with your thumb or the heel of your hand to seal the seam. Turn the dough around and repeat this process on the other side. Then turn the dough around again and then fold the long edge of the dough into the center, pressing down with your thumb, creating more tension in the dough and then turn the dough again and repeat this process a final time. Turning the dough over so the seam is on the bottom, gently roll out the dough from the center outwards, stretching the dough as you go and tapering the ends once you get to them, just to create that classic baguette shape. Let's have a look from the top and go through it again. Gently press the dough down and stretch to a sort of oval shape. Starting at the top of the dough, fold the long edge into the center of the dough, pressing down with your thumb or the heel of your hand to seal the seam. Then turn the dough around and repeat this process on the other side. Then turn the dough again, Fold the long edge of the dough into the center, pressing down with your thumb, creating that tension in the dough, and then turn the dough once more and repeat this process a final time. Then making sure the seam is on the bottom, gently roll out the dough from the center outwards, stretching the dough, then press down on the ends just to taper them, and then boom, you've got a baguette. Now this is where that floured tea towel comes in handy. Place the shape baguettes on the tea towel and then pinch the towel up around the dough to provide a bit of support. This just helps them keep their shape during the proving and that rye flour just stops them from sticking to the towel. Cover the baguettes with another tea towel and leave to prove for about an hour until the baguettes have doubled in size. 
Now is the perfect time to preheat that oven to maximum and place a baking sheet in there to preheat as well. Once doubled in size, the bread is ready to cook. So remove that preheated tray from the oven and transfer the baguettes onto it. You can do this by hand if you're careful, but I like to use this makeshift peel that I use from a tart tin just to provide a little bit of support to the dough and move it without knocking out any of the air or ruining the shape. The hot tray helps simulate the base of a bread oven, creating a better spring when you cook your bread. Now it's time to score the baguettes. Now I would definitely recommend a lane for this, but I've lost mine somewhere, I'm not sure where, and so I'm gonna do it with a razor blade instead. But if you don't have either of these, a good serrated knife will do the job. Hold the blade at about a 45 degree angle and then make four to five diagonal cuts down the length of each baguette. Then no more hanging around, get these baguettes into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes or until they are rich golden brown all over. A little tip, if you want to create an incredible crust on your baguettes, throw in a good splash of water in the bottom of the oven when you put them in, just to create a little bit of steam. This helps develop a nice thick, crispy crust on those baguettes. And that's it, delicious French baguettes that taste as good as they look and sound even better. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like this recipe, let me know by hitting the thumbs up down below. And if you're new here and you like what you see, why not consider subscribing as well? If you make this recipe, why not hit me up on Instagram or Facebook? I would love to see your baguettes. That doesn't sound right. I will see you next time.